up everybody, Introvert here and this is the first addition to a series of videos that I'm going to be doing over the next couple of weeks called Ableton Tips and Tricks. So the name was pretty self-explanatory. This series is just going to be focusing on a bunch of tips, tricks and workflow kind of um, adjustments that I do to just add a smoother workflow to your production sessions and just to help overall because there's nothing worse than catching inspiration, being in the heat of the moment and then have like you have to run through a whole bunch of samples, presets or whatever the case may be in order to execute what you actually want to do. So um, step one or edition one rather of this series is going to be focusing on the favorites feature of live. So um, I'll get straight into it. Pretty much in the top left hand side of your screen you will see a tab that says favorites if you click on that it should be empty initially as you can see mine is quite full and um, what I've actually highlighted in here these are all of the plugins and or instruments or presets audio effect racks whatever the case may be that I use in almost every session that I make so um, if you are someone that uses VSTs, uh, external plugins, which I assume a lot of you are, um, you will know that the lists can be quite extensive. I'm pretty sure unless you're specific and you download exactly what you need, then you shouldn't have this issue. But if you're someone like me, uh, I download all kinds of plugins and things and I kind of have a hard time going through all of them trying each one and instead of mastering the ones that kind of work for me I kind of just go a little bit crazy in using uh, all of them so pretty much I use my favorites tab to condense it down to the plugins that I use in every session the ones that I am comfortable with and the ones that work well for me so as you can see I've got a project open here this is a beat that I've been making I'm not actually gonna play the beat because that's not really the point of this video I just want to show you a quick kind of example of how I use the favorite feature so let's get straight into it so if you open the master track um, I already have the J37 stereo by waves plugin on that is a kind of tape plugin just to give it that little bit of saturation and warmth um, but we'll speak about that in other videos something that I use in pretty much every session that I have is the SSL compressor by wave so I'm just gonna search in the bar for it um, plugins waves SSL comp stereo right there so that's a master bus compressor by waves really cool I use it all the time it really works well um, on the master chain and even in mastering or as a mix bus compressor it works really well but anyway so that's something I use all the time and as you can see I've got a lot of different variations of SSL plugins and everything like that so the one thing I use frequently is the SSL master bus compressor so now I'd like to add this to my favorites because then I can access it at all times and it's easy to find and use. So what you do is you right click, hit the red or whatever color your favorites bar is under, add it to favorites and now you will see it in your list of favorites in alphabetical order obviously. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think using the favorites tab is extremely helpful especially for me i it's a very very small yet overlooked feature of live but i think it's very very useful uh especially like i touched on earlier if you're someone like me who has an incredible amount of plugins and half of them don't even end up getting used you kind of can just put the ones that work best for you in the favorites and uh, just a side note i also highlight vst instruments put them into um a folder here as well because as you can see they are hidden in this large folder of VSTs that I use here so I'm um, using the bars to highlight like each color is a different folder pretty much on the side there so I just renamed the orange one instruments and I add that to that and um, yeah pretty much that is the first tip that I use if you enjoyed this video please hit a like comment or subscribe and um, if you have any suggestions, anything else you want me to touch on, please go for it. This is actually the first video of this kind that I've done, so I'm very keen to be doing more. Um, I'm a huge fan of Ableton Live. I absolutely love it, and 
I'd love to share these little tips that I have uh, with everyone else. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Catch you in episode two and happy beat making. Sweet. Oh, 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 oh,